So ever since I was a small child, as far back as I can remember, I've always been really interested in art. I was always kind of being pushed into the direction of being an artist and I always knew that that was what I, I wanted to do. And there was never a doubt in my mind that I wanted to do anything else. I remember being really into drawing with pencils and especially drawing portraits, which is also what I'm still into. I remember when I first got my first sketchbook and I was just, every day I would draw a new family member. So I would draw my grandmother, my mom, anyone who was around me. And I was really proud of that. And I would show every single person that came into the house. I was bullied a lot as a kid and now as an adult, I often feel alienated in society. I feel very different from my peers. So over the years I have developed a high amount of anxiety. It's been something that I've struggled with a lot. It does have an impact on my work and how I create because I tend to doubt myself a lot and overthink how others will see me. And the process of making art is something that is very vulnerable for me. And it's hard to open up because I know that when people see my work, they'll see you know, a glimpse of myself and sometimes that can be really difficult to come to terms with. But at the same time, I feel like in spite of that, it's important for me to show these things, to show my work, because I feel like my work has a greater purpose other than myself. And so at the end of the day, I have to just continue to push forward and feel confident about what I'm creating and remember why, why I'm creating. I'm also very open about the fact that I do suffer from depression and anxiety. So balancing my mental health with my creative process can sometimes be very difficult. In the last year, I've taken a lot of steps toward managing my anxiety, but in the past, it has created a huge obstacle in how I create art from just having a lack of motivation, being filled with self-doubt and being self-deprecating not wanting to create anything. So when you're dealing with that, it doesn't really give you the motivation or the desire or the drive to create anything. A lot of people say, oh, well, why don't you just create more and express yourself through art? And it's not always that simple because the anxiety makes you super hypervigilant and very aware and feel very negative about yourself while the depression can make you feel like, you know, worthless and there's a lot of times as I'm creating that I'll sit there and I'll think, you know, why am I, why am I an artist? Am I able to do this? Is it going to be good? So it's this really weird emotional roller coaster that I go through when I'm painting and creating. There's a lot of self-doubt. Then there's moments of happiness and pride where I actually feel like I'm accomplishing something great. But it's not this sort of happy, you know, perfect ride of creativity sometimes it really is difficult for me to push through and see the end of it and, and even understand why I feel so motivated to create art so it's these two polarizing effects that really create a barrier when it comes to actually creating art The major theme in my artwork is identity and the different aspects of that, the intersectionality of identity. Could be gender, ethnicity, culture, religion, sexual identity, and how they all interact with each other and make somebody unique. It also deals with tracing one's roots. Specifically for me, something that I've struggled with is the inability to trace back to where my ancestors came from due to slavery and colonialism. The idea that many cultures are being appropriated by the West and not given credit to them. So some of the subjects in my artwork, they're usually black women with natural hair and deeper skin tones. I want to represent natural African facial features. These are all things that have been negatively viewed in the lens of mass culture for many centuries. Sometimes I 
feel like it's frivolous to only represent beauty. I tend to make my subjects very beautiful and appealing to the eye, but then I realize that, that it's very important to do that because there have been so many negative stereotypes and making the more beautiful side of people of color visible, especially in a fine art context. Just knowing that one day my work could hang in galleries and could inspire some little black girl that is fueled with self-hatred or has negative ideas about herself because of how society has conditioned her to feel about herself, that is something that is truly dear to my heart and makes me, is one of the things that motivates me to be an artist, is representation. If that is the only thing that I accomplished in my entire life, I feel like that's, that's enough.